Salamun alaykum. We are reading about the migration of our Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in order for us to understand how we're supposed to be. Before I continue, let me read again from the book Ethics, Ethics of Islam. Sixth of the maladies of the heart is to hold a bidat, which means to hold a heretical, wrong, or aberrant belief. Most Muslims suffer from this disastrous malady. The reason which leads one into this malady is one's attempt to rationalize or reason in the matters which cannot be sensed through sense organs and which cannot be reached or comprehended through calculations and believing in matters wherein reason errs of with other and causes other mistakes. Let us continue. Our master, the Prophet, and Abu Bakr Siddiq, taking some food with them, set off on Thursday, the 27th of the month of Safa. While traveling, Hadrat Abu Bakr would station himself at various places around Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, sometimes on his left, sometimes on the right, and sometimes in the front, and sometimes in the back. When our Prophet asked why was he acting so, he replied, in order to prevent my, any danger which might come to you. If we face a danger, let it harm me first. May my life be sacrificed for your high personality, O Rasulullah. Then our master, Salah Ilam, said, O Abu Bakr, would you desire a disaster which I am to face before you? Hadrat Siddiq replied, Yes, O Rasulullah, I swear by Allah Ta'ala, who sent you as the true prophet with the true religion, that I want the disaster to perform me instead of you. Since the clogs of our beloved prophet were narrow, they were torn on the road, and his blessed feet were wounded. It was very exhaustive for him to walk any more. They went up the mountain with difficulty. When they came to the entrance of a cave, Hadrat Abu Bakr said, for the sake of Allah Ta'ala, O Rasulullah, do not enter, let me go in. If there is anything harmful, I will face it, so that your blessed body will not be hurt. And he went in. He swept and cleaned the interior. There were many holes, small and big, around the cave. He tore up his overcoat and filled the holes. However, one of them was left open. He closed it with his seal and invited Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam into the cave. Our master, the Prophet Wasallam, came in, put his blessed head on the Hadrat Baker's knees, and fell asleep. At that moment, a snake bit Hadrat Baker's feet. In order not to awake Rasulullah Wasallam, he endured the pain and did not move. But when his tears dropped on the blessed face of Rasulullah Wasallam, he asked, O oh, Abu Baker, what happened? Hadrat Abu Baker said, a snake from the hole which I covered with my foot bit me. When our master, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wiped his blessed saliva on the wound of the Ibu Baker, his pain stopped and became cured. When our master, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Hadrat Ibu Baker Siddiq were in the cave, the polyethius came in front of the cave while tracking. They saw that the entrance of the cave had been closed by a spider web, and two pigeons had made a nest there and there. The tracker, Kruz bin al Kama said, Here the tracks are interrupted. The disbeliever said, If they had entered the cave, the web covering the entrance would have been torn. When some of them said, We have come up to here, let one of you enter the cave and look in. The disbeliever, Umayya bin Khalaf, said, Do you have no logic? What will you do in that cave which is covered by many folds of spider web? I swear that this spider netted this his web before the birth of Muhammad. While the polytheists were arguing at the mouth of the cave, Hadrat Abu Baker became worried and said, O oh, Rasulullah, I swear by Allah Ta'ala that I am not worried for myself. However, I fear that you might be harmed. 
If I am killed, I am only one person. Nothing will change. However, if you are harmed, all the community will perish. The religion will be ruined. Our master told him, Oh, Ebu Baker, don't worry. Verily, Allah Ta'ala is with us. When Ebu Siddiq said, O oh, Rasulullah, may my life be sacrificed for your sake. If one of them bends his head, he would see us. Our master said, O oh, Ebu Baker, as there are two persons, the third one is Allah Ta'ala. Don't be sorry. Verily, Haq Ta'ala is with us. Then the polytheist went back without looking inside the cave. We'll talk more about the migration when we meet again. Wa alaikum salam.